Hi, Laura. Hi, Maddie. Thanks for letting me know. I think I waited long enough then because I usually wait. Um, Maddie was just letting me know that there's usually an ad or a commercial that plays before the live starts. And I guess I didn't know. I don't know how that works. Um, Because I always get my live set up and then I wait like five minutes before I come on, like while I'm getting everything set up. So, anywho. Also, I think my brain is not quite working because I'm not really even sure what the heck that means. <laughs> but good morning. Hello. I'm really excited to be working with these super cute airmail envelopes. Good morning. Hi, Helma. Um, yeah, these are really cute. I actually remembered to put some links in the description for some of the products I'm using today. Um, these are from Amazon. So yeah, also I'm going to be making, I think some little mini tags with this map paper I have. I actually, I have a haul coming showing all of this stuff, but since we're here, I'll just give you a peek. Um, it's a really cute little paper pad with just map paper, but I like it because it's thin. It's like printer paper. It's not like scrapbook paper. And I kind of like that better for this project at least. Um, but it's double-sided and it's just really like vibrant colors. So anyways, those are linked below with a few other things, I think. But I made a bunch of tabs yesterday. Like look at all these tabs. They're so cute with the map paper. They're just a simple little tab, but I like that it's like reversible because it has the inside or the outside print so you can decide what you like. Okay, so I'm going to be working on a simple little folio today and Madeline actually gave me the idea for this because these are like mm, probably four inches by nine and a half and I was like, oh, those are pretty long. Like that's probably not going to work too well in most journals unless you put it like long ways, which is fine but she gave me this idea to make a little folio, so I'm excited. Hi, Nita. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna be kind of making it here. I'll just kind of show you as I go. But, basically, I just took this little envelope and I folded it into thirds. And I think, yeah, I'm just gonna have this be the front. I'm not actually going to decorate these ones. I'm going to add a few pockets in here, but I'm going to keep the front plain because I think there's a lot of fun things you could do with this. And I do want to leave this one like able to be like, what am I trying to say? Decorated or changed. Hi, Charmaine. How are you? So anyways, the first thing I know I want to do is um, glue down the flap. So I'm just going to glue it down. Let's see, it has like, it, doesn't, it does not have an adhesive strip here, so that's okay though. And I probably did not shut my glue last night, so that means I need to find a needle or something like that. If you're one of my Patreon members, these folios are going to be sent out if you're an orchid member. I have some orchid member spots open so also if you're a Patreon member and you're one of the lower tiers you can upgrade as long as you do it by Thursday. That will be soon enough and honestly this month the orchid tier, honestly, if you've been like wanting to upgrade, I think this month would be a really good month because first of all, like this little folio is going to be a cute extra item, but then also I'm going to have like an extra tag in it. You'll see. Um, maybe I should try to do a video to just show what I am including this month for each tier. I should do it before I send out just in case anyone wants to change up or sign up for if you want to be a new member, I have some spots available too. Hi, Lisa. I don't usually like advertise my Patreon because I just don't care about it. That I mean, that sounded bad. Okay, that's not what I mean. I care about it plenty, but what I'm saying is I feel like if someone wants to sign up, then they will. I don't like to be pushy about it is what I mean. 
I have done a video, um, Jay, of, on my craft room. Uh, I think, <laughs> I'm glad you think it looks organized because it doesn't feel organized. There's just so much stuff, but anyways. Um, I think I've done a whole craft room tour. So if you look up craft studio tour paper terrace, I think you'll be able to find it. Okay, so anyways, what I'm gonna do for this little folio, so it's folded into thirds, and I glued down the envelope flap. I am going to make a little slit on this section, just the third, so that it'll be like a top loading pocket. And then I think on this side, I'm gonna do a side loading pocket. And then in the middle, I'm going to add like a little pocket. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm just cutting a slit, some little slits. I'm gonna try to make it as small as possible. And anyways, back to my Patreon tiers, like I was saying, I feel like there's another reason why I was like, oh, um, this month's orchid tier is super fun. There was something else that I was including. Oh, just that I'm, I'm doing also, normally I include a five piece junk journal kit, but I have changed that if you're an orchid member to a 10 piece. And I have some fun things I'm including. Um, it's usually basic stuff like guest checks and tags and things like that. But this month I have some really cute travel stickers. I have these vintage um, receipts. And so each person in the orchid tier will get one of these. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. And hi Shannon and hi Belinda. I'm so glad that you were able to catch this. Um, let's see, our home office has become my craft room. Yeah, it is a never ending, never ending story. That's for sure. I gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little slit on the side here. Okay. Let me see here. I'm just gonna make sure this tag fits. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm deciding I want to put a little pocket on the middle here, like a little top loading pocket, not top loading, but I think you know what I mean. I'm not sure if I should use coffee dyed paper or if I should use some of this map paper I have. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Should I use map paper for the little pocket or coffee dyed paper? I'll go grab that so that I have both of them. Um, so let's see, where is my, or I can also use, hmm, I have like ledger paper. That might be fun too. I don't know. Map paper. I'm kind of leaning towards that, honestly. I feel like it will this whole theme is like a travel theme so I was kind of thinking that would look cool I'll just go ahead and cut out a piece and we'll see also kind of random but this paper smells so good and it reminds me of something I don't know what that is. Like, it reminds me of something from Las Vegas. I know that sounds really weird, but I don't know, man. I'm just gonna cut out a piece and I'll, I'll hold this up every so often so I can show you what I'm actually doing, but. All right, I don't really wanna measure and use my trimmer because I have stuff on it. So I'm just kind of doing a quick measurement here. Matte paper, I think matte paper would be better since it's an airmail envelope. It would be really cute to decorate with postage postage stamps. Love that idea, but I'm not gonna actually be decorating these. Maybe if I have enough postage stamps, I'll include that in my little 10 piece kit. Love that idea that, yeah, I wonder if I do have any right now. I, oh, I have. Postage stamp stickers, that's for sure. 
it's tempting to want to just decorate this myself, but I'm just going to add the pockets and I kind of want to keep it a little bit more plain so that the recipient will have something to decorate um, because mostly everything else is like completely ready to go and ready to use. And I just want one thing in here to be something that can be like created a little bit more. That didn't make sense. Uh, what am I trying to say? Created? No. I want something to, I don't know. It doesn't matter, Jessica. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue on this little pocket. Yeah, I really like that idea with the postage stamps. That would be cute. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue around the three edges. It would be really cute to add other pockets on the inside here too. But again, well, number one, I can't have this be too dimensional to send in the mail. But also, again, I want to kind of keep it um, customizable. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so where did that little tag do just so we can see what it will look like when I have stuff in it. Okay. Cute. I think I'm going to fold up this vintage receipt that I have also. And maybe might have that kind of sticking out the side. I don't know. Okay. Trying to see if I can add. So I have, if you have been watching my lives, then you already know, but I've been making these little vintage slides to also go along with this theme. I'm not sure if this will fit in this pocket since it's not like, yeah, it will actually. Cute. So yeah, so basically I just kind of want to have the base of this created. Um, so here we go. So I have a little vintage receipt in here that's sticking out. I, some people might like that sticking out. I like things sticking out of my little journals, but you know, we can put something smaller too. And then you open it up and then you could add something over here. Like I think it would be cool to leave that blank. So if they want to do journaling or add a photo, that would be good. Or they can add a pocket. And then the center pocket here for right now, I just put this little vintage slide. And then there's this top loading pocket and I just put a little map tag. So I think that's what I'm gonna do because uh, I need to make 30 of these. So it also needs to be kind of an easier project because I've already made everything else and I've put my max time into everything else. So yeah, I'm just gonna count so I need 31 actually so I'm just gonna count that out and then I'm just gonna start kind of doing this like assembly line style so it's probably not gonna be that exciting but we'll hang out anyways um, I'm gonna look for some postage stamps too because I really like that idea let's take everything out of your craft room to finally organize and then plan a family vacation it'll be fun <laughs> oh my gosh Lord help you that's for sure. Get okay, one, two. Sometimes when I'm counting, it's like words start going in my head and then I forget how to count. <laughs> that just happened. Okay, anyways, anyways. I'm gonna grab one of my little sticker organizers because I wanna see if some postage stamp stickers. I would 
I would love if I had regular postage stamps, um, like vintage ones. And I do somewhere, but where are those? Well, I don't know. Perhaps in here. I need to go through and organize a lot of my stuff, honestly, but I love these organizers for small stickers and ephemera. And I have so many packs of, yeah, like labels and stuff like that. Um, so I need to like do an organizing day, but I never just have an extra free day to do something like that. Anyways, I have these little postage stamp stickers, so these will be really cool. So thank you so much for the idea. I'm sure my Patreon members, I'm not sure if you're one of my Patreon members, um, Charmaine, I, I mean, yeah, sometimes it's hard for me to remember all the names and I don't think you are, but anyways, they will appreciate. And uh, I think I'm gonna add one of these little postage stamp stickers then. I'll either put it, it's hard to know, I'll, I'll see. I'm not sure if I'll put it in here or if I'll add it in the little 10 piece kit. Either way, I'm gonna add a little postage stamp sticker because it would be so cute to actually put that on. You could put it on the cover. You could put it on like one of the blank sides, but I want them to be able to kind of decide. So anyways, yeah, I could, I could just put it in the pocket for now. Okay, so cool. I'm gonna leave this out then so I don't forget. I'm sure I have at least 30. I have some larger postage stamp stickers too. They're not as realistic, but they would work too. But I think I have enough. Oh yeah, some of them are kind of like botanical themed, but I think that'll be okay. Okay. We'll just keep those out so we don't forget. Um, let's see, not a Patreon patreon member well that is all right i'm glad you're here have you already made up your mind how to make the removable tabs helma yes so i realized i tried it out i have one somewhere i don't know where i put it but i tried it out like what am i trying to say i put it in an envelope to see if it was going to be too thick because uh it's kind of a, a hassle sometimes with um I have to send everything in a flat envelope and my, I don't know if it's just my post office or what, but they're quite picky if you have anything dimensional. And so I wasn't sure if the paper clips that I had were going to be too bulky. And then instead of charging me for like an envelope, I get charged for a package. And that kind of happened last month and it ended up being way more expensive for the post. Anyways, long story short, so I'm not going to be able to do it that way. So for my Patreon members, so I'm just, I made just these little tabs, which I think are still cute. Um, and they're reversible just because they have two prints on them, if that makes sense. So yeah, I made up, I got that all done, but I would love to do a crafting video doing, making some of those removable tabs because um, they're super fun, but they are a little involved because you have to have like three layers of paper and it's a lot of gluing and layering. Like it's not so, so quick, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I wish there was an easier way for me to be able to, um, include more dimensional items, honestly. Okay. I'm just going to go through now and fold all of my envelopes into thirds. Um, yeah, and then once I'm done with that, I'll figure out what size I need for the pockets and I'll cut those out. The thing is, is I'm not measuring this. So each one's probably going to be a little bit like they end up probably being about the same because I'm just folding it into thirds, but I'll probably go through each one and make sure I get the right size of, um, my nose itches, sorry, um, the right size of pocket. Anyways, um, yeah, now that we've been talking about organizing, that is something that I have wanted to do like a series on for quite a long time now. So, you know what, I wonder if I should go ahead and glue the, um, 
Yeah, I think I should. I'm gonna glue down the flaps first because that's gonna give that a little bit of time to dry. I think it'll be easier to do all at once. Whew, the morning, this morning was kind of a hectic one because my daughter has one more week left of school and we were scrambling. She didn't want to wake up. <laughs> she didn't want me to brush her hair. She had knots in her hair. So I'm like, we got to brush it, girlfriend. She's like running away from me throughout the house. And I'm chasing her. I'm like, we have to brush it, honey. <laughs> and then like, she wants to pick out her entire outfit, but she was like picking out clothes that I don't know, just like weren't gonna work. So it was a morning. I got her to school like 20 minutes late. I don't think I've ever got her to school that late. It's, it's just preschool, so it's fine, but I don't like being late at all. So it was not that exciting. There's only two more days of school for her, so, you know. Oh, I just saw a new Patreon member. If, um, I don't want to call out the name just in case, but if you were on the live and that was you that signed up, welcome. You can let me know if you're in here. Um, I think I have four more spots open, something like that. I should have an opening in each tier. I mean, even the, so the Lily's tier is $12 a month and um, even that tier is pretty cool. Let me show you what that one is going to get. And then I also have a $5 a month tier and I don't guarantee monthly mail on that one, but I still do always send out either a postcard or whatever like basic thing I had for the month. So um, I try to have like an affordable tier because there are some other perks such as like I'll, I'll post my videos early. Um, sometimes there are free printables and you know, there's other things. And honestly, it's just, um, it's just an extra way that you guys can support me. And uh, I hate saying that, but it's, you gotta, I gotta, it's true. Anyways, okay, the Lily's tier is gonna come with a postcard. I have these National Park postcards this month. They are really cool. I'm gonna get a slide that I made with a little eyelet so you can turn, so it can be a little charm. Um, a little mini fabric tag lined with um, coffee dyed paper and sewn, and then a vintage slide that has like a picture, an actual picture in it. So that's the lilies tier, just to give you an idea. And then the next one is the roses tier, and I just like added a few more things to that one, and that one also includes a five piece junk journal kit, but the orchid tier is my top one, and like I said, that includes the most. So, okay, gotta glue, gotta glue, gotta glue, glue, You guys have anything fun going on this week? This weekend, um, my sister's having a 40th birthday party for my brother-in-law, and I have to figure out what to wear. It's um, white trash theme. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. to 
think after I make these folios, I'm probably not going to get these done. <laughs> um, I'm probably not going to get these all done today only because I only have probably, what time is it? I don't know. I probably only have an hour left or something like that. <sighs> A Hooters waitress outfit and your roller skates. Oh! Why didn't I think of that? I like that. It's gonna be outside in her grass, but I could just wear them and... <gasps> oh my gosh, that's funny. I mean, not to say that a Hooters waitress, but I get where you're going with that. I get it, I get it. I could do something with my skates. Um, also, <laughs> I mean, I feel like that theme could be a little offending, offen offending, offensive to some people, but you know, it's all in fun. Um, I was thinking last night that it would be kind of funny to have, to make like an ankle monitor, like, you know, like I'm on house arrest. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Hi, Nicola, Nicola. I probably said that wrong. Thank you, Shannon. Um, yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it would be funny to have like an ankle ankle monitor. I have to come. I have to figure out what I could do. Um, yeah. My son's best friend has a three D three D printer, and I bet he could print me something that would work. And then just strap it on my ankle. Okay, I'm tired of gluing. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start folding these. I think those glued. Yeah, so I'm, like I said, I'm not measuring this. And if you're just hopping on, I'm just working on making these little air mail folios. You can watch the replay if you wanna see me, but um, Basically, it just opens like that, and it has a little side pocket, and then it opens like that. It has a top loading pocket. I'm keeping these blank so that the recipient can do something to that, add pictures, keep it for journaling, and then there's a little pocket in the middle. So I'm just, uh, just folding these into thirds. Oh yeah, I was saying, um, yeah, since I'm not, exactly measuring i'm just kind of using this airmail logo as i'm so sorry my nose itches how annoying um i'm using that airmail logo as kind of a guide because i'm folding like right right around that area <laughs> yeah it could be offensive. Thank you, Gina. Tammy says, says hot glue, a toy flip phone to a slap bracelet from the Dollar Tree. That's a good idea. That would work, actually. That's, yeah. That is a good idea. These airmail envelopes are definitely so cute. I'm surprised I haven't bought them before. But um, here, I'm gonna grab some real quick. I wanted to show you guys uh, some of the stickers that I got. The travel stickers that I have too. Even though I did, like I said, I filmed a haul, but you're already here. Hi, Kimberly, I'm good today. Um, so I got these travel stickers, and so there's two different sets. This set has like different states. And I mean, I just think they're really cool because they work perfectly for the travel theme and they're kind of like a matte finish. So they're really nice quality stickers, honestly. I think they will work well in journaling. And then these ones are 
a little bit different style, just different. Anyways, yeah. Keep folding, keep folding. Hello to, to Israel. Okay. Hmm, what am I gonna eat today? Before I pick my daughter up. My son, he's 11, and he just learned how to make, um, I forgot what it's called, but when you take the toast or you take the bread and put a hole in it and then cook an egg in it, I think there's different names for it. Um, he just learned how to make that, and it's pretty exciting because I'm like, dude, you can cook for your mother now. <laughs> but also it's really cool that he can cook for himself. Eggs in a basket. Okay, yeah. I feel like I've heard a lot of different names for that. Different. Okay, well, anyways guys, um, I'm probably gonna go so I can speed this up a little bit. <gasps> Rebecca, happy birthday. That's exciting. I love birthdays, honestly. Yeah, I'm probably going to go so I can speed this up just because I feel like if I turn some music on, I can go a little quicker. And I'm just going to be folding. I'm going to be folding and then adding the pockets. So yeah, this is a really simple idea. So maybe it inspired you guys or gave you an idea. You could do this with regular envelopes too, but I definitely think the longer ones would work best. Um, Oh, Lori. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Glad you caught this live, even though I'm about to end it, but glad you could catch it. Yeah. And remember if you guys like these envelopes or any of the things I showed you, I did list links to those items, the ones that I could, um, in my description. Um, I'm going to try and do a video maybe, let's see, today's Tuesday, right? I'll try to do one um, tomorrow so I can show a final, like, this is what I'm sending out for the Patreon members for each tier. And then, like I said, that way, if anyone is on the fence of maybe signing up to become a Patreon member, you can see exactly what you would get for the month. And um, what else? Yeah, I'm usually finishing just right at the time that I need to send it out. So I don't usually get a chance to do a video right before, but I think I will be able to do that. And you can sign up for just one month and cancel, like if you wanted to try it out as well. Or if you just really like the travel theme. So, there's that. But anyways, guys, I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out. And I'll try to come back and do another live tomorrow. How about that? Okay, guys, have a good day.